Hey guys, I want to show you how you can change the color of your vinyl or fabric seats with a simple spray can. This is Dupacolor Vinyl and Fabric Specialty Coating. It's not called spray paint, it's called specialty coating. I bought two cans of this. They're 11 ounce cans. I paid about $9 each at the parts store and I used this to color the seats on my hunting buggy. Check it out. So to prepare the surface for the color, you need to start by removing all grease and wax with a wax and grease remover. I used alcohol, the same stuff you get in your medicine cabinet. I sprayed it on, wiped it off, made sure everything was good and clean, and I had no issues. If you do not clean it well, you may have fish eyes where the color does not stay or adhere onto the seat. Also, cover up anything you don't want sprayed. I used regular painter's tape for these handles and it worked great and spray in a well ventilated area. I sprayed this seat outside. You can't clean it too much. After taping it up, I went back and cleaned it one more time with alcohol. Obviously, shake your can up really well before you start. But once you've done that, get started spraying. I sprayed several light coats and I allowed a couple minutes of drying time in between each coat. I tried to be consistent and spray each coat the same. As you can see, the second coat covers slightly more than the first. Remember, when you're spraying, do not stop. You will cause a sag or a run, depending on what you're spraying. That's the same for this or any type of canned spray paint. You will want to keep a clean cloth or paper towel on hand to clean the nozzle of the spray can. And as you can see, the third coat is really starting to bring this seat to life. Now I've already sprayed the fourth coat and as you can see there are streaks and that's just where the white's not covered quite enough. I'm going to go ahead and spray the fifth coat but I'm going to spray it a little heavier than the previous coats. So after spraying this last coat a little heavier you'll see that it looks a little frosted over and from all the information I've read and videos I've watched it says don't worry about it that will disappear as it dries so that's kind of what I'm counting on at this point. As I said, that fifth coat was pretty heavy, and as you can see here, it looks pretty uneven and kind of frosted over. But you'll see here shortly that there's nothing to worry about. Now, before I show you the finished product there on the seat, let me show you that I did do the seat back as well. And it's white, the same color. It's the same material, the vinyl. And I did do five full coats, just like I did with the seat. Okay, here's the before picture. Definitely not something you want on your hunting buggy as bright as that is and the finished product and i think that looks so much better and it was super easy all right guys i just wanted to show you up close in the right light you can see some stripes and i have a feeling that is user error i don't know this is my first time using this dupa color and the camera's picking it up more so than the naked eye i don't see it a lot unless it's in just the right light there you go you can see a little bit of a striping there i don't really see it on the backs just there on the seat so uh, am i satisfied with it absolutely 100 percent that seat stuck out like a sore thumb beforehand and now it is black it will not stick out now next i gotta camo it but i just want to show you that I don't want you to think it's absolutely perfect. I probably would not try anything on the interior of my vehicle with this. But for my hunting buggy, as far as I'm concerned, that old front seat looks as good as this new back seat. All right, guys, that's it. I just want to show you a quick and easy way to change the color of your vinyl seats with a simple spray can. And it saved quite a bit of money. I originally looked at purchasing new seat covers, which was about $200. And after looking at these seats with no nicks, scratches, or cuts, I could not just discard them, especially after finding the Dupa Color. Dupa Color worked well so far. It was easy to uh, apply. And so far, after only two days now, no problems, no issues. If anything changes in the future, I'll let you know. So I hope this video helps. This might be something you're interested in trying for your golf cart or your hunting buggy. If so, give it a shot and let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.